What's going on guys, Blender Binge here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to create hair using curves inside of Blender. Now let's get into it. First, I'm gonna delete the default cube, and let's press Shift A, go to Curve, and let's choose Circle. And I'm gonna press G to grab, and I'm gonna choose Z to move this up and the Z axis. Now let's rotate this by pressing R, 90 X, and that's gonna rotate this 90 degrees in the X axis. Now we need a path. So let's press Shift A, go to Curve, and let's go down a path. Let's press G to grab and Z to move it up in the Z axis. Now the goal is to get the path to basically embody the shape that we have here above, which is the circle. So to do that, we have the path selected, and let's go to the right. Let's go to Object Data Properties here, and let's go to the Geometry tab and hit the, the drop down here. And we're going to go to where it says bevel and choose the eyedrop tool on the object. And that's not the mistake for the taper object, which I see a lot of students that I have uh, usually choose and they try to figure out why it's not working. It's because you're not under bevel. So let's choose the eyedrop tool here and let's select our circular curve here. And you're going to know it's working and you're on the right step because when you like hover over it, you have some text and that lets you know that it's working. So if you select it, you'll quickly see that the path now is a cylindrical shape, which is a 3D um, form of the circle here. So let's really quick select our circle above and hit tab to enter edit mode. And you'll see we are greeted with these vertices and these handles. So if you select any vertice here by left clicking on it and pressing G to grab, and if you move your mouse around, you can move it. And quickly you see that the path below is now manipulating as well in tandem. And that just lets you know that everything's working properly. So let's right click to cancel our movement. Now, one thing I wanna do is hit tab to go back to object mode, select the path, which is the cylindrical shape here at the bottom. And I wanna close out these holes at the bottom. So to do that, you wanna just go back to the bevel area and just check fill caps and it's closed. And that's a mistake that I see a lot of people make. And depending on what you're doing with this model that you're going to be creating, you might need to have no holes inside your model. So um, with that being said, let's hit tab into edit mode. And there's a couple of options I want to let you guys be aware of before we start manipulating the shape above. So if you select the vertices here on the path and you press S to try to scale, nothing happens. And that's because we're working on a path. So let's right click to cancel that. And let's press Alt S. And quickly you see we're able to scale this. And let's just close this down by closing that tip. And let's do the same for the last one here on the right. So let's press Alt S. We're just gonna close this out. And we can just drag select these middle ones and hit Alt S to downscale these as well. So now that we have these, um, you can select these vertices one by one and press G to grab and move these to get the shape that you want. So let's control Z to go back. I was just showing you guys um, that you can move the vertices around. Now, if I wanna make this a little bit more in depth and detailed, what I could do is press tab to exit, you know, edit mode and select the circle above and here's where you can start getting a little bit more advanced with your hair strands. So let's hit tab to enter edit mode and we can move around these vertices in something a bit more organized. So what I wanna do is basically start to shape these. So I'll grab these two on the side. What I wanna do is just hit S to scale these outwards. And then we can rotate these around as well. So we can just select the middle one, hit R, and we can get this shape here. We'll do the same for the other side. And let's hit G after selecting them both and press Z so we can move these down the Z axis. And what I wanna do is grab this middle one here at the top, press G, Z to move it down in the Z axis. Bring it down something around here. And what I'll do now is just drag select over these three vertices, the top and the two sides. And if you right click, you can go to subdivide and you can subdivide this, which will give you more handles. 
and more vertices here. So I've made two vertices here on the side. What I want to do is start to drag these two side ones down by pressing G and Z. Now grab the middle one as well, G, Z, bring it down. And I'll bring this one down a little bit lower. And if I want, I can select over all of these vertices and press V on the keyboard. And it gives you some menus that pop up to let you adjust these a bit further. So what I want to do is go to free and that lets me adjust each vertice one by one. And I'll just manipulate these. So I'll grab these two vertices here, press G, move them up to something like this. I'll do the same for these two by pressing shift, selecting both of those and pressing G and moving these up. I'll grab the middle and I'll just repeat that same function. So after selecting one, I'll hold shift and I'll just drag select over these, press G. And we have a shape like this. Now we just need to shape the bottom one here. So I'll select the vertice here, then I'll drag select over one vertice and shift drag select over the second one. Press G, move it up. And we have a shape like this and this is fine. We could actually move these closer together. We can just go to scale, move these closer. Now that we have this shape here, look how the path is now shaped. So let's hit tab to exit. All right guys, so we just saw how manipulating the vertices on the main curve shape, we can also affect the main path. Now we can move on to affecting the path to better get the shapes that we need for the hair strands. So let's select the path here. Let's hit tab to enter edit mode. And to move around these vertices and shape this a bit better, you can just select the vertice, press G and move it in that direction. And also, if you want to extrude this further, you can also do that. So I'm just going to hit Alt-S to make this hole a little wider. And I'll just press E to extrude. Click E. And if you want to keep extruding, you can just keep pressing E as well. And if you want to twist these and tilt this, what you can do is select a vertice press control T and then just rotate around to get that spin. You can keep doing this to each vertice as you see fit. Control T, spin, give it a nice spin. So I thought it'd be pretty beneficial if I show you guys a practical use of how to use the curve for hair on an actual model. And if you guys like the video so far, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't.